and John, welcome to these press conferences. How you doing? Doing good. Um, just kind of reflect on your first season at UCF. You you came in, and then there was an expectation that you were gonna you know get some playing time and kind of learn your way. You certainly did that. What what's kind of your takeaway from your first season of college football? Uh, my first season it was like a learning experience for real because uh, you know we're going against you know uh, you know higher level players, so I feel like it was just a learning season for me. John, was there a moment last year like that all of a sudden it just kind of hit you like, man, we're, we're playing Big 12 football, we're playing, I'm playing at this elite level. Was there a moment that made it kind of struck you when that happened? Uh, when we went against Kansas State, you know, away over there, you know, that, that, that that's when I really felt like, damn, I'm playing in the Big 12, you know? <laughs> so, yeah, that's when it really struck me for real. So, John, from that perspective, you had your playing in the Big 12, playing at that higher level we were talking about. Now that you're there, you're kind of comfortable with it. You, relatively accepted as your, um, what's the thing you're focused on to get better? What, what's John Walker doing now to be better? Uh, uh, to be better than last year, you know, to work on the little things really, just uh, my get off, uh, just my hand placement, and you know, just really little things. It ain't, it ain't too much I gotta change. It's just little things really. You got two vets in the room with you, Lee Hunter and Ricky Barber. What have they really helped you uh, in your development? Uh, just, you know, you could tell they're really coachable guys, you know, just really, coachable and, you know, they're really professional, you know, going to the training room and, you know, getting recovery and just, you know, any, any little thing they need to work on, they go they go and uh, work on it, you know, and that's when I just pick up from that. And furthering on that, we talked to those guys throughout last year about working with you, so the inverse of that, what do you feel like you've learned most from them or some, uh, some tips or some, you know, some valuable information you picked up from some of those guys? Uh, it's just like the little things, uh, like the angles, of like when we run our stunts and just like it's really all about angles for and just for who, who gets off the ball first really. John how much does it mean to you being a hometown hero or Orlando kid and then when you look around you got guys like Kevin Call and like Kyle Martin that Braden Marshall that you played with um, um, against on Friday nights but now you guys are coming in to compete together on Saturday how, how does that make you feel? Uh, and it's, it's cool because you know I went against uh you know those guys. Well, I should have went against Kevin and uh, you know, Nakai, but you know rain, rain delayed the coach. You know, they, oh. you know, they quit. <laughs> you know, they're, they're, so they ran away from you. Uh, yeah, they ran away. Is a tough place to play. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> So, but you know those guys, you know they're really cool. You know I, they're really good guys. You know I met them last year, and uh, Kevin called Brady Marshall. Uh, you know. I, they were, they were my roommates, so you know I got really close with them. You know we built a bond, and you know they're my dogs now. Man. <laughs> John, what was your favorite moment of your first year of football, of college football? Um, my favorite moment, just the atmosphere and just like you know the game day routine is really cool. Just nothing like that. Was there a game that kind of stands out to maybe where maybe things started to click for you more, where you felt like you were getting more comfortable, or uh, towards like the end of the season, really? That's when I stopped the like starting really feeling like more comfortable. But yeah. You talked a little bit about him being back in the summer, uh, Derek LeBlanc. Uh, now you get to like actually play with him this year. What excites you about that? Obviously you guys played. Uh I knew Derek since elementary school, so like and I played with him high school and little league. So uh, you know, I was really, you know, excited when he came to UCF because, you know, I, I get to play with him again and we're just gonna grow and get better with each other. As far as the defensive ends go, working next to those guys, what have you noticed in the first few days about, you know, Cave and Paul, Isaiah and Nixon, guys are growing into uh, bigger roles over in your graduate class? Well, you could tell they want it, you know, they try and get better, they try and find a way to grow and just compete and just find a way to be on the field early. John, can you talk about that switch? I mean, when you talk, uh, you kind of look at you up here, uh, calm, cool, you know, but when you get on that field, you're one of the nastiest football players I've ever seen from the high school level on up. Like, talk about that switch. Like, what is it about it where you can be this calm, but then when you put the pass on, you're just like a monster. Man, when I get on the field, I just let all my energy loose, and afterwards, I'll be tired, so I just, you know, <laughs> you know I don't gotta do too much, just be chilling, yeah. So, they always talk about, you know, players will make the most improvement from their first year to the second year. So, I mean, this is a big year for you, your second year. What do you want to accomplish? What are your goals for this year? Uh, obviously to win the Big 12 championship uh, and just to do better than last year. What about you, you personally playing D-tackle? Uh, personally, you know, I want to, you know, be an All-American again and, you know, just keep on working, playing, just working with little things, really. That was a big honor for you, being a freshman yeah. All-American. What, what did that mean to you to get that award? 
you know, I've been, you know, wanting that since high school. So I just had that on my head and just, you know, been working so I could, like, you know, reach that goal. Good stuff. All right, we have John and y'all up here for a couple breakouts.